Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Times Leader Beer Gang. Uh, this week we're talking about uh, one from Benny Brewing Company, the Hena or Gosa. Um, we're branching out from IPAs, you know, after we got uh, some comments that we've been doing too many of them. And even though I am a fan well, of well, IPAs... Well, we got one comment. We got one comment. <laughs> But, some is a bit of an overstatement. Yeah, well, that would imply that there were maybe two. Some three. just implies an amount, and the amount was one. Uh, <laughs> but clearly, some implies more than one. We're getting in the weeds of this already. Um, the uh, I agree. You know, we've probably been doing a little bit too many IPAs. So this week we are trying a uh, Gosa, which is a uh, traditional German sort of beer uh, that is tart and uh, kind of almost like a sour, but it's not a sour. Um, now, Joe, as we said, and I have been doing for a few weeks now, has not tried it, but the th other three of us have, uh, so. Now, I just, want, I just want to point out to our viewing public that until last week, you argued with me that a tart and a sour were the same thing. Okay, um, <laughs> Tony, what did you think of this one? I thought it was really good. Um, probably my favorite one that we've done so far, or that I've done with the beer gang so far, um, it was really good. It's got, so let's talk about the notes in it. Yeah. We've got, it's brewed with raspberries, lime, coriander, and salt. And that's a, the salt I think is a Goza specific right. kind of thing um, that they'll always be brewed with salt. Uh, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Um, I drank it out of a glass and it was like this really nice like pink color. Yeah. Uh, the raspberry is at the forefront, but the rest of the flavors really complement that and they're very like complex and delicate right i thought it was amazing yeah i will I, absolutely be drinking this again no, I, when they say raspberry they don't mean a bronx cheer right they mean the fruit. no yeah they they mean they mean the fruit wouldn't it be funny if that's what it was made with, yeah it just, we didn't know it <laughs> uh lauren what did you think i have to agree with tony on this one this was definitely my favorite one that we uh tried on the beer gang you could definitely taste the raspberry uh and i really like that <laughs> right um and you know i am not typically the biggest fan of, of beers that are very like fruit forward um, in in terms of their, their flavor profile. But that said, I was definitely into this one. I was pleasantly surprised um, because uh, I, as we said, this isn't a sour, but tart and sour are kind of in my mind a, adjacent flavors. Um, and I, I, I typically avoid things that have that, that bite to them. But I think this has like a nice mild sort of flavor compared to a lot of things that I've had in this vein. Um, Joe, I'm going to slide it over to you and uh, you know while you are cracking it open I'll say that it is 5% alcohol um, so it's it's not super strong which I think is good for you know what it is. You'll, you'll probably... I'd, I'd like to encourage anybody who's not from northeastern Pennsylvania watching the video and doesn't get the Hena reference to go on YouTube and search out Hena Bonics, <laughs> where you'll learn to speak like a northeastern Pennsylvanian. Right. Get a couple two tree beers. Got a couple of two tree beers. Run down to the to the distributor and get a couple of two the, 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 One of the key things about speaking like you're from northeastern Pennsylvania is using the article the as often as you can. Like I'm <laughs> going to tell you now, I love getting beer from the Bennies. The yeah. Bennies is one of my favorite places to get beer. The Bennies is one of my favorite places to get food. I love to go down to the Bennies. It's right by my house on the Sansui Highway. Uh, yeah. Great place to get food. They got a lot of great beers. I want to point that out that I love Bennies because I, I'm a little uh, apprehensive about this. It's not a typical beer that I would usually drink, I don't think. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm really going to like it. So if I have anything negative to say about this beer, it's just because I'm not a big fan of tart and sour beers. But I'm going to give it a try now. I might do a spit take. <laughs> So be prepared. I may do a spit take. That's why I'm going to drink it pointing my mouth this way so the spit take would be even funnier. Right, of course. So very COVID unsafe. Well, we're already here. <laughs> uh, it's not as bad as I thought it was. I it's told not, you. It's not, it, it really isn't as, it really doesn't, I was thinking of something that would be almost as like a tart as like a sweet tart. Right. And it's really not. It's smooth. Uh, it's a little fruitier than a beer I would typically drink but uh you know if, if somebody was giving them away for free i'd take them right uh but if you if you like your if you like your fruity beers you you probably like this one 
uh, everybody else seemed to like it. Yeah. I just don't like fruit in my beer, but I'm going to have some more. Yeah, I think I agree with you on that. It's like, uh, it's probably my favorite fruity beer that I've had. Because we, we've tried a few. Um, it has a um, little bit of an aftertaste. It does. Um, but yeah, it's it's probably my favorite fruity beer that, that we've had during you know the course of the beer gang. Um, but that said, it probably didn't convert me to being a, a fruity beer kind of person. But if you like that, I definitely recommend it. I have a to lot. say, uh, compared to say like the SPC, the raspberry, the ras the roof, it's called. I really like that one too. But I think that this is really balanced by the salt and the mm. coriander and the lime in a way that maybe one of those isn't. So I think that if, even if you don't like fruity beers, I think it's worth giving right. a shot because it, it does have a lot of balance to it. I definitely agree. Uh, yeah, Joe, any closing the great, thoughts? The great thing is you could go down to Benny's. If you want to go down there, you could try a flight, so you could get one of these and just try a little bit of it. And if you don't like it, you've got four or five other beers you can try to find what you like. They have loads of beer. Uh, I'm a big fan of their Buck 380, which is another beer that makes uh, <laughs> makes light of the uh, Hanabonics. So, yeah. But it's I, an IPA, so <laughs> we're avoiding it. We will not be drinking that. <laughs> but uh, give them a shot. Uh, uh, like I said, I'm a big fan of Benny's. Not really one of my favorite beers, but it's not a bad beer. It's just, just not something I would probably typically drink. All right. Well, I think that does it for uh, this week's episode of The Beer Gang. Uh, as always, if you want to support what we do, the easiest way to do that is to become a subscriber of The Times Leader. Uh, you can do that by giving us a call at 570-829-5000 and someone will walk you through how to do that. And remember, if you subscribe for the next 26 weeks, you'll have a chance to win a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars! Every Friday we're giving away a thousand dollars! We're like Crazy Eddie. Remember Crazy Eddie? <laughs> We're giving away so much money, we are insane! <laughs> uh, just just to be fair, it's it's not quite the next 26 weeks the, the competition has been going. Uh, it will go for 26 weeks, but we're a little totally. bit more than half. Oh, that's right. The next 13 weeks. It goes through yeah. November. Uh, even if you don't subscribe, pick up the paper every day or go to our e-edition, get the lucky code, go to timesleader.com, enter, and enter the code, and you'll get the, uh, the chance to win a a thousand dollars just like our subscribers and then in november we're going to give away twenty five thousand dollars all right well i think that does it so uh tune in next week to see what we bring you next time